Hey folks, it's uh, it's been a little while, hasn't it? Uh, before we get started today, I want to go over a few things with you all. First off, my grandmother is doing better and is back in her apartment and able to live her life again, which is a huge relief for me and my family. Uh, thank you all so much for the well wishes and the kind words. We all appreciated them, seriously. Second, if you were not aware, my first video back from my week and a half break from YouTube was my uh, very first fully edited big review video. Now, when I say review video, I mean something along the lines of Kid Icarus, Pro Jared, JonTron, and such. That was the kind of content I grew up with, and I've wanted to try my hand at it for a while now. It's basically my usual editing and humor, but applied to a longer and more in-depth form of video. I've had a link to it at the top right corner of the screen for the last minute or so now, so if you'd like, you can just click on that and go give it a watch. I probably put more effort into that one video alone than anything else I've done in the past five years of my life. While the numbers have been kind of small for my channel so far, the overall reception has been overwhelmingly positive. But I'd kind of like to get a bit more feedback from you all since, well, XCOM isn't going to be around my channel forever, and while I'm aware that it's the main reason the grand majority of you are here to watch me, I'd like to start exploring new avenues of content that A, I like working on, and B, you all actually enjoy. My plan for now is to finish the Tactical Legacy Pack, then go back and finish my original War of the Chosen series before deciding what I ultimately want to do with the game. I may make it a once in a while thing, or just move on entirely until XCOM 3 inevitably comes out. I'm not sure if I'll finish 4 Against the Darkness because, well, while that challenge started off fine, it quickly became incredibly frustrating. I know you haven't seen that point on YouTube yet, but trust me, the, the later episodes stopped being much fun, save for a few moments. Longevity is the name of the game at this point, and I'd like to ensure that my channel and my brand has more going for it than just being a small niche thing. I could go the safe route, stay with XCOM forever until I have absolutely no love or passion left for the game, or I can take the riskier but more promising route of trying to build my brand to be more than just XCOM. I'd certainly like to do more review slash discussion videos in the future and mix it in with my usual gameplay stuff, but again, I'd like some more feedback on that before I make a decision. So if you see any future let's talk about X or whatever videos from me down the line, well I'd appreciate it if you check them out. Oh, and by the way, I'm sure many of you will have game suggestions for me, so let me just say one thing now. No, I will most likely not be going back to Darkest Dungeon. I've done nothing with the game in years because I just stopped liking it. Doesn't mean I think it's bad, I highly respect it and its devs, but it's just not for me anymore. Okay, thank you for listening, and let's get on with the video. Before his rise to infamy within the Resistance radio network, the DJ made several attempts at building a fledgling radio network of his own, piecing together a series of jury-rigged transmitters and relays hidden near coastal towns on the fringes of Advent territory. The DJ piggybacked his transmission using stolen alien technology. Oh, so the uh, the radio joke that I did in a couple of videos ago actually works. Okay, then cool. The signal reached far and wide, but unbeknownst to him, it caught the attention of more than just Advent. Now it's up to Central and his friends to clean up the mess and discover what lurks beneath the sea. Insert under the sea joke here because I'm too goddamn lazy. I don't know about you, but from where I'm sitting, things are just looking a little grim out there today, folks. I'm not sure what it is, I just can't seem to get my juices flowing like they used to. I was all excited to try this old folk remedy I heard about. Right up until I realized the secret ingredient was something you had to dig out of one of those snake chicks running around out there. Now don't get me wrong, if I thought I could catch one, I would have at least tried it. I've been working with a few local operators, helping people out on the fringes wherever we could. In this case, we were following up on some rumors about the aliens hitting a town out on the coast. We just figured Advent was finally getting down to the stragglers. You know, if I were in any way at all a bit more crass, I could have made a very easy joke about a uh, secret ingredient with the snake chicks. Also, I do adore how one of my team members thought it was prudent to speak up during the radio transmission. That was incredibly not rude of you at all. I'm going to assume it was you, Nikita. N Nik Nikita? Nikita? A harbinger. I'm going to assume it was you. Keep your trap shut when other people are talking, it's rude. Goodness, it is quiet. Oh. 
Well, it's not going to be for much longer. I hope everyone's having a great day out there in the occupied territories. Don't let Advent get you down. In fact, I would urge all of you to stay nice with Advent. At least long enough for them to relax a little. After that, do what I do. Steal everything of theirs that ain't bolted down. <laughs> well, Mr. DJ, we're going to be uh, modifying your plan just a little bit there. Uh, Nessie, if you'd be so kind as to uh, show our disembodied friend in what way we mean. That being applying bullets to faces <laughs> or torsos. That works, too. And bullets have been thoroughly applied. Now it's time to do some cleanup work. Let's see, Nikitty, uh, looks like you're just a base level Templar. Well, works for me. Four damage is four damage, and I'm never gonna turn my nose up at that. Central, if you would be so kind as to crit this, I would absolutely love you. Well done. Oh boy, oh boy, stasis is, mm, mm. Sure do love not being able to move. Oh. Uh. Oh, great. They came from the sea. That's what stood out. They were just giant bugs to us back then. We didn't know anything about the science. Chrysalids. Strange ones, too. White. Like they were covered in bone. God damn it. No, no, the giant fish and the chrysalids. It's happening again. No, get me out. How and how? If you're just tuning in, I'm your host with the most, the man with the golden voice that even the aliens couldn't keep down. You see, apparently, yours truly just wasn't good enough for their precious advent burger. God forbid a man make himself a little snack in between orders. It's not like they're gonna run out of that slop. <laughs> uh, I get the feeling Bradford is already not going to like our mysterious DJ. And now we play my favorite game, wait for the nightmare creatures that can run at the speed of sound to come to us and pray to God nobody of ours is in range. Oh. Oh, there are civilians. Of course there would be and good shot their roadkill. But of course there would be civilians in the surrounding area to give them ammo. Radio chatter aside, we had a much bigger problem to contend with. The rumors were true. The aliens had hit this town. And you know what? We would have welcomed a good fight with Advent versus what we actually ran into that day. Oh, Central, once again, we're thinking quite a bit alike right now. That's gonna Speaking cause some issues. Of Burger, you know they never even gave me a language course during my training. I mean, come on! Where's the logic there? How the hell am I supposed to prep orders with some bug-eyed freak barking gibberish at me? And if you think you're getting a legible receipt, you're out of luck. Okay, Mr. DJ has a shit ton of pent-up rage and uh honestly I can't say I blame the guy. Hi, yeah, uh, you know what? No, just screw you and everything you stand for. Ready for me? Ah, uh, the question central is, are we ready for them? Because I still don't want to go out there. There's a time and a place for everything, and I'll admit it. If I'd been sitting around the campfire having a few drinks, this guy probably would have been kind of funny in an insane way. But during the heat of combat with a bunch of weird ocean chrysalids running us down, I would have given anything to shut him up. Oh, so you mean how I feel about you on a daily basis, Central? Okay, so assessment time. One of those ocean chrysalids is not coming in here. It's just feeding on the surrounding area and making more and more of the mini chrysalids, which would be mini in normal circumstances, but due to the way the chrysal poison works, it's treating them as if they are mini chrysalids compared to the chrysalids that we fight normally, not these ones. <clears throat> so counterintuitively, the mini chrysalids that are being spawned are stronger than the ones that are spawning them. Uh, and there's a lot, and several of the chrysalids are out there getting burrowed into the ground and are waiting for us. Oh, good. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, shit, please, everybody shoot that thing. Thank you, Central, as you made it teleport back to the wall and then promptly shot it directly afterward. Okay, looks like we're, I think the best plan of action is just hold out in here until we get past the swarm, cause that's not gonna stop anytime soon. The aliens just don't know what they're missing. Seriously, do you hear this voice? 
This is a voice destined for greatness, not the voice of some burger man. That's right, Advent. You made yourself a powerful enemy. Cause I can talk all night, baby! Oh, really? I, I couldn't honestly tell. How surprising. Fuck the early bird bonus. We wait here and take out as many as we can that decide to come this way. Ah, see, they don't stay burrowed forever. They come out eventually. Eventually. Oh, there's... There's a lot. He had spent the last 10 minutes babbling about hamburgers while we were out there watching people mutate into chrysalids from all the poison. Honestly, one of the worst things I've ever seen. And this guy was our soundtrack the whole damn time. Well, thankfully soundtrack... Soundtrack? I just called Central Soundtrack. The fuck? Oh, hi. You, you decided to show up, did you? Well, I mean, at least we could take you out now. Good job, Roadkill. Now that I'm finally getting through to some of you out there, maybe introductions are in order. Let's see, a little about myself. Uh, great voice, dashing good looks, and a personality to match. You might as well call me DJ Total Package. Oh, uh, okay, don't call me that, but you get the idea. Oh my god, I might actually hate this guy already. Roadkill, Central, Nessie. Uh, we're all gonna need you to go on Overwatch, because I'm going to potentially send Harbinger to her doom. They're moving underneath us. Come on, people, get some hits. Good hits, good hits. Nice. Deflection. Okay, that worked. One down, like five to go. I think we found a good strategy, though. Uh, Harbinger is going to be sent forward with combat protocol active. Everybody's going to be waiting on Overwatch to take advantage of that. And uh, we'll just be taking these things out before they can move. Hopefully. <laughs> Fuck. Nessie. I stumbled across something bad here. I am sorry for this, Nessie. Oh. Well. Thank God for that, then. I get the feeling that's going to be my only saving grace for the entire night, though. So let's not do that again. What I would not give for you to have Blade Storm, Harbinger. Oh, okay. Thank God these things stuck. Well, I had a plan, and now it's all gone straight to hell. Awesome. Oh. More of them. Lovely. Well, you spooked that one nice and good. Well done. You won't escape my mark. Well, they didn't escape it. They sure as hell survived it, though. Um. They're under the ground. Excuse me? The vault's volley actually revealed that crystal that was in the ground. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Unfortunately, doesn't help me that much when there are four of them about to move, and I've got two people left. Thank you. You know, that was good. At the very least, we'll only be suffering maybe two hits instead of, um, four. If Central can hit his shot, I know it's a 91% chance to hit, but that's still a 9% chance to miss. Please don't. Okay, good. Hey there, folks. It's me, Future Sithorvan. I just want to let you all know that I only just now saw this in editing, but apparently... The moment Central Shot connects, the background disappears. It only happens for a few seconds, but it is very noticeable. I didn't pick up on this during recording, and I don't know how I didn't. I suppose I was too focused on the impending death and doom. That is all. Thank you. Back to you, past me. Right, well, this is still gonna suck immensely. Nope. What? is happening. Okay, we, we can't possibly get lucky again. I'm on nightmare mode, by the way. Normally these things terrify me for a very good reason, but I I guess I don't I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but I'm not going to complain. Oh, but boys and girls, there are chrysalids aplenty and we are not out of this fucking maze of death and destruction and poison yet. Uh, oh. Hey, wait, what? Well, okay, well, first of all, good fucking job, you two. What, is one of them in the fucking map? Is one of them under the map right now? H hold on, hold on, hold the fuck on, hold the fucking phone. Is one of them under the fucking map right now? I hope to God not, because that has just screwed this entire mission. And I'm gonna have to redo it from the start. 
Oh. Well, that's not amazing. That is, though. Thank you. No, it is actually... Are you... Are you serious right now? You've got to be kidding me. I, I have actually spotted what may be the worst fucking glitch I have ever encountered. It's not just a funny glitch or an animation. Ha ha. Oh, look, he's like flew halfway across the map uh, glitch. No, this is actually a game breaking glitch. This is the first time I have encountered a glitch that actually makes the mission unwinnable. I have actually never had that happen before. Believe it or not, this is a first for me. There is no way. There's no way it's completely stuck, right? I'm not going to have to replay this entire goddamn mission, am I? I can see it. Right. Okay, that's it. I'm using the old console. Never leave home without it. Eventually, we yep, killed off it. the waves right, of chrysalids pouring into town. But we still didn't know what was riling them up in the first place. Okay, so I had to resort to console fuckery to deal with a game glitch. But uh, at the very least, I won't have to do that again. Hopefully. <laughs> Hey, you made it to the end. Thank you very much. If you like what you saw, you're more than welcome to check out the rest of my barely tolerable content. And if you're feeling particularly adventurous, you can subscribe. I make it a point to upload a new video every Thursday unless life gets in the way, so be sure to check back regularly. If you like live streams, I stream at twitch.tv slash Sothorban every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you want to keep up to date with me, I'd recommend following me on Twitter since the YouTube sub boxes don't actually do their job half the time. Thank you again for watching, and as always, y'all have a lovely evening, and I will see you next time.